Hello, welcome. My name is Alicia Waters, and this is a general warm up that you could use for a vinyasa flow class of about an hour to 75 minutes. So start seated with the hands on the knees. If you need a blanket to elevate the hips, I recommend that to keep the inner groins relaxed. And then close down the eyes, find a long straight spine, sitting bones pressing down into the floor, crown of the head reaching for the ceiling. On an exhale, lower the chin down to the chest. As you inhale, trace a half circle, drawing right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, tracing back, chin to chest. Inhale, continue the half circle, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Keep moving with your own breath, inhaling to either side, exhaling through the center. Even at this early stage in the practice, setting up the vinyasa, linking movement to breath. The next time your chin comes back to the center of the chest, pause. As you inhale, reach both arms out and up overhead. Watch the palms meet. Exhale, trace the midline of the body, hands down to heart center. Twice more, inhale, circle the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, draw the palms down right in front of the heart. Inhale, opening the arms out wide and reaching long, filling the body with breath. Exhale, gently press the palms together as they draw down. Inhale, circle the arms all the way out and up. This time, twist to your right, left hand to right knee, right hand on the floor behind you. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, roll the right shoulder and rib cage back as you twist a little deeper. With each inhale, find length and space. With each exhale, deepen into the twist. Inhale to create space. Exhale to move into that space. See if you can keep a light touch with the hands, using more the muscles of the core and the back body to take you into the twist. One more deep exhale, finding your fullest twist. Leave the left hand planted on the knee. As you inhale, sweep the right arm up and over, pressing right sitting bone down, and then turn to gaze up under the right arm. Draw the right shoulder away from the ear, palm faces the floor, and stretch the whole right side of the body. Long, luxurious stretch. Exhale to round in, crossing the elbows, chin to chest. Inhale, open hands to opposite knees, draw the elbows back, heart lifts. Exhale, round the spine. Two more rounds of seated cat-cow. Inhale, rock the chest forward, lifting the gaze. Exhale, draw the navel to spine, rounding the back. Inhale, pelvis rocks forward, heart lifts, gaze lifts. Exhale to round, pressing out every last drop of air. Inhale, sitting tall, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, twist to your left, right hand to left knee, left hand on the floor behind you. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, deepen the twist. Finding that same pulsing motion as the first side. Inhaling to back out of the twist slightly and create space. Exhale to move deeper into that space. Light touch of the hands as you move with the breath. Drawing the left side of the belly, the left rib cage, and the left shoulder back. The last few rounds of deep twisting, gaze back over the left shoulder. the right hand planted on the knee. As you inhale, sweep the left arm up and over. Long, luxurious side stretch. Pressing the left hip down, drawing the left shoulder away from the ear and reaching through left fingertips, palm down toward the earth. Gaze up under the left bicep. Draw the left thumb an inch further back. One more deep inhale, filling the breath into every corner of the lungs. 
Exhale, round in, cross the elbows, chin to chest. Inhale, switch the hands, puff the heart forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, rock the pelvis forward, lift the heart. Back of the neck stays long, and exhale to round. Taking, taking that same sequence, one breath per movement, inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the right, rolling the right shoulder back. Inhale, sweep the right arm up and over, leaving the left hand on the knee, stretching long. Exhale, cross the elbows, curling in. Inhale, open the hands to opposite knees, elbows back, heart forward, gaze lift. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, circle the arms out and up overhead as you sit tall. Exhale, twist to your left, light touch of the hands, deep twist. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and over, lengthening the left side body. Exhale, cross the elbows, curling in. Inhale, switch the hands, lift the chest, elbows back. Exhale, round the spine. The next time you inhale, sit up tall, reach forward, roll over the ankles, and find a neutral tabletop position with the palms directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Gently grip all 10 fingertips into the floor, finding hasta bandha, a little puff of air beneath the center of the palm. Step the right foot back, leaving the ball of the foot on the floor, and begin to glide forward and back, pressing through the heel as you glide back, and then rolling over the backs of the toes as you glide forward. Stretching the back of the foot, the ankle, and the calf. The next time you come forward, lift the leg to hip height. Take a glance under the belly to see the toes pointing straight down at the floor. And then returning to neutral, reach the left arm forward, thumb facing up, and stretch long from left fingertips to right heel. You can stay here, or on your next exhale, draw elbow to knee under the body. Inhale to extend long, reaching through heel and fingertips. Exhale, curling in, maybe elbow and knee past each other, lifting the thigh to the chest. Inhale, extending long, keeping low belly and low ribs lifted. Exhale, curling in. Inhale to reach long. Exhale, drawing in. Inhale, extending long and stay. Exhale to release the left hand down to the floor. Inhale to lengthen back through the heel. Exhale, turn the right toes to the side. Sweep the foot over towards the shoulder and hang here, lifting the heel a little higher. And then on an exhale, release the foot down to the floor. Toes can stay facing forward if that's more comfortable or turn out to the side. On an inhale, lift the torso up, arms to a T-shape, preparing for a Pardagasana variation. Relax the back of the hand to the right leg. As you inhale, sweep the left arm up and over, pressing the left hip slightly forward. Again, palm faces down, shoulder draws away from the ear, and reach through left fingertips. With your next inhale, lift the left arm up and over, coming back to a T-shape. Exhale, plant the left hand in line with the knee under the shoulder. Inhale, lift the right leg as the right arm extends to the sky. You may need to tap the foot, just playing with balance. If you feel steady here, reach the right arm overhead, bicep by the ear. Take a deep inhale, stretching from fingertips to toes. Exhale, draw elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, extending long. Exhale, tap elbow to knee. Inhale to extend. Exhale, curling in, belly to spine. Inhale, reaching long, follow your breath. Exhale to round. Inhale, extending long. Welcome to stay here or bend the back knee and reach for the outer ankle with the right hand. If holding the ankle, press the foot into the hand to press the hips forward and open the chest, stretching the front of the right thigh and the hip flexors. Roll the right shoulder back, turn the chest up towards the ceiling. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, softly release. 
Step the foot back down to the floor, release the right hand to the floor, and walk the hands back to the center of the mat. Step the right knee down parallel to the left. With your next inhale, step the left foot back behind you and begin to glide forward and back. Rolling over the toes. Preparing this gliding motion that you'll use later for Chaturanga. The transition from plank into Chaturanga, rolling forward on the foot. Also opening the fascia on the sole of the foot. Stretching out the Achilles tendon and the muscles of the calf. The next time you rock forward, lift the leg to hip height. Take a glance under the belly to see the toes pointing straight at the floor. And then return to neutral, reach the right arm forward, thumb facing the sky. Stretching long from heel to fingertips. With your next exhale, draw elbow to knee, curling in. Inhale, extending long. Exhale, drawing elbow to knee, maybe past knee, lifting the left thigh to the belly. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale, curling in. Moving with your own breath. The next time you inhale, extend out long, stay. Release the right hand down, but keep the left leg lifted. Turn the left toes out to the side. On an exhale, sweep the leg to the side and hold here, lifting the left heel a little higher. And then exhale, lower the foot down to the earth. The toes can point forward, or if it's more comfortable, turn the toes out to the side. Inhale, lift the torso, drawing the arms up to a T-shape. Exhale, back of left hand to left thigh. Inhale, reach the right arm up and over, pressing the hips gently forward, drawing the right thumb back, rolling the right shoulder blade down the back. And your next inhale, lift back up through a T-shape. As you exhale, gaze down to plant the right hand in line with right knee. Lift the left arm to the sky, and then inhale, lift the left leg to hip height. So several stages here, you may stay just tapping the foot, playing with balance. If the balance feels stable and comfortable, reach the left arm overhead so the bicep is by the ear. You can also stay here or really test your balance and build core strength. As you exhale, tap elbow to knee. Inhale, extending long. Keep moving with your own breath at your own pace. The next time you extend, hold here. You can stay here or bend the back knee, holding for the outer ankle. As you press the foot into the hand, think of rolling the chest up to the sky. Grip all five fingers of the right hand into the earth. Draw the left shoulder blade back and shine the heart up. One more deep inhale, pressing the foot into the hand. As you exhale, softly release without boomeranging. Lower the left foot down to the earth. Lower the left hand and walk the hands back to the center of the mat. Left knee steps in line with right knee. Curl the toes under, sit the hips back and begin to hover the knees. Hold here for a few rounds of breath, gripping all 10 fingertips into the floor, drawing the low belly and low ribs into the body. And then pressing the floor away from you strongly with the hands, begin to lift the hips high, keeping the knees bent in a modified Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Focus on the front part of the pose first, gripping all 10 fingertips, pressing the floor away to lengthen the sides of the body. Keep the spine nice and long, back of the neck long, ears between the biceps. Lift the tailbone an inch higher and move it an inch further back. Keeping all the alignment of the front body, begin to pedal the heels, bending one knee at a time and straightening the opposite leg. Mm. 
then finding a full downward facing dog, pressing both heels to the earth, gently spinning the inner thighs back and then reaching the back of the legs back for the back of the room. As much as you press the floor away with the hands, keep reaching the heels strongly for the earth. They don't have to touch. Reach them strong so the legs are active. On an exhale, soften the knees, look forward and walk forward until the feet arrive between the hands. Keeping the knees soft, hanging over the legs, let the chest drape over the thighs. If you'd like to hold opposite elbows, please feel free. Stay here for a few rounds of breath. When you're ready, bend the knees, taking several breaths to roll to stand. Arriving in Tadasana Mountain Pose to begin the rest of your practice. Thank you for warming up with me today. As always, stay safe, stay joyful, and keep practicing. Namaste.